hello twin flames and welcome to this reading so i did a poll and i asked what kind of readings you'd want to see in this four o'clock slot and you came up with many and i know there's so many of you watching who are involved in celebrity twin flame connections and that's what i'm going to focus on today so we're going to do a reading around celebrity based connections so you could be the celebrity but more likely your twin flame is the celebrity and you may be wondering when's it ever going to manifest in the physical world what's on his mind does he think of you does he know about you is it more than just a 5d connection or a dream that you share what is going on so that's what we're going to connect with now there is a lot of change happening right now so the reason why i haven't been doing in-depth focus celebrity readings is because all of the energy is collective so everything that you are experiencing in your journey is what every twin is experiencing in their journey so every reading you watch will have elements of it that will resonate with you some more than others some less than others and it's really powerful how you know especially in the members readings and the picker piles we always pick up on some form of celebrity energy there so the cards i'm going to use Wow, did you hear that there? That was like a car going down the street peeping. And what they show me is like a limousine going past with paparazzi and fans. And it can be very overwhelming. <clears throat> They're giving me all this fear. Fear around communication. Fear about how it's all going to happen when they seem to be, you know, filled with stress about their job or what they're doing or their lifestyle or they may be in a karmic situation they may have people around them all the time what makes you different than all the rest well first of all you see them you see them for who they really are not the persona they show the world because they wear a mask and you know show the world one side whereas inside they are someone else and you see that even their children or their karmic partner doesn't get them the way that you do and doesn't see them the way that you do either so remember your journey and your connection with your twin is unique and special and it's different than anything else and that's why it stands the test of the time and it doesn't matter who else is around them where they are what they're doing or whatever's going on so the way i'm going to channel this reading is however they guide me to do it but i feel it's going to be from the perspective of you you know you being you and your twin being the celebrity but if it is the other way around just switch it around and they're going to channel it as if you the divine feminine are you and the divine masculine is a celebrity but again if you need to switch it around so the cards they've guided me to use them i'm going to use this gorgeous divine masculine deck by um, angali and this is the messages from your divine masculine we're going to use the twin flame tarot made easy because we want to make this journey easy for you to understand we're going to use the angel tarot by swati prakash and we're going to use deborah parrot's deck embrace your beautiful life and you know this is a brand new deck it's been gifted to me it's very beautiful and what i'm actually feeling is this is what you're doing embracing your beautiful life because you've been through pain and shame and loss and grief and struggle and you've come out the other side so you're embracing your beautiful life and you know that when you are with your twin you're going to embrace that life together you're not bothered about lifestyle or money or success you care about your twin how your twin is how their health is how their well-being is that's more important to you than anything else so in other words you would embrace the beautiful life regardless of what the outlook is you don't care if you're going to have that celebrity life or you're going to live a standard normal life you know well no, none of our lives are standard or normal but you get what i mean you you were quite happy to move into anything that the universe offers to you and that's okay and i'm also going to bring in the karmic 101 for anyone who's um you know person is dealing with a karmic partner so again this may resonate with you it may not take the bits that resonate leave what what doesn't okay so i'm not going to do it in any specific order as in masculine feminine you know you i'm just going to shuffle the cards what do we need to know about celebrity connections well that card just jumped out there what do we need to know please angels for celebrity connections what do we need to know what do we need to know for you and your twin for celebrity connections wow i love how they give me a good shuffle then and just a couple of cards are coming out to give you a very clear message wow there you go jump straight out for the masculine energy there put these cards here so they don't move away 
What do we need to know, please, angels, for celebrity twin flames? Wow, just very, very simple. One card, two cards coming out. You know, they want to get a very clear message over today. What's happening within karmic situations? Remember, this could be theirs. It even could be your karmic situation, what you need to know. So we're going to start with this one because it jumped out. So the message is magic. Wow. Magic is coming into your connection. That means the way is being made by magic. You might think it's going to take a bit of magic for us to be together. But magic is on the way. And this journey may feel like magic when you connect with them, when you maybe listen to their music if they're a musician or you watch a film or if they are um, an actor or, you know, whatever artistry they're doing. If you look at their artistry, you know, they, they show me like um, paintings on the wall and or read a book they've written or something they've done in the world that's given them that celebrity status. You feel magic about it. You know, you really resonate with what they're doing. You may not resonate sometimes with the way their lifestyle puts them into situations and how they, you know, seem to be owned in a way. You know, they may be moved around and not quite doing what they want to do, like they have no control over what they're doing. But you know that magic is ahead. It says you are surrounded by divine magic right now. Absorb this energy and use it to follow your true path. Now, some of you may make your own magic. You know, you may be what we class as, you know, earth embodiment of angels. So what that means is you talk to hate, to angels, you talk to heaven, you connect with the magic of nature, you may light candles, you may invoke the moon, you may put flowers around the house, you may use the law of attraction. There's many, many ways that you can bring magic into your life. You may use crystals, Reiki, all these things. So you know that you are surrounded by magic and right now everything has fallen into place. You just feel that even if you can't see how or when or you know, the ins and outs of it all, you know the way is being made by the way you feel. So absorb the energy and follow your true path. Now, I feel that this is also your twin wanting to follow their true path. Now, they are following a path right now, and that path is magic. You know, there's magic around, they have a star, there's huge things going on around them in their lives, but also they're craving something more. There's some spiritual aspect of themselves that's pulling them to do something more or even something else. And there's magic surrounding that. We've got dreams coming true. So you're being reminded that, you know, being with them, it will be a dream come true. And I really feel the whole point of this reading is to let you know that the magic is happening so that your dream can come true. So if you're just watching this thinking, well, I don't know if I'm making it up in my head or I'm fantasizing about it or if this dream is ever going to be a reality, you're being shown that your dreams are coming true. And you can feel it now, especially as we move towards September. So magic is flowing in. We've got the two of wands. So this really resonates again with the collective masculine energy because the two of wands is vision. You both have a vision. You both visualize the outcome or the future the way you want it to be. And you have this huge connection in the other realms, you know, through the 5D realm, through dreams, through dream travel, astral travel, you know, dreaming of each other, being aware of each other, even through social media connection, you know, where you are doing the same thing. You know, you may mirror, like you may put something on a post and then your twin does. Or you check their social media and wow, they've used the same emoji as you or the same wording as you or the same picture as you or they've they've just got something across in the same way as you because you are letting each other know that you are aware even if you're not physically connecting you are spiritually connecting and that's more powerful than anything else because you had that soul bond before this lifetime and it will continue beyond this lifetime so the two of ones is vision and it may seem like a bubble right now like it's all out of reach it's just a vision, it's just an intention, it's just something in the vortex of creation, but that's coming into reality. And they are giving me the timeline here as well, I'm feeling nine and two. So this could be September to February. This could be within nine, nine weeks, nine, nine months, even two years for it all to manifest in the right way. But I am feeling big vision and change between now and February. We've also got the king of cups so you know if we go into personality traits first of all okay your person is very loving 
very open and loving, very generous, very kind. Now, they may hold that inside sometimes, but this is what they want to show to you. They want you to know that they intend to give you the world. And, you know, this person could be a water sign, but not necessarily. It's showing you that they have feelings and, you know, they sometimes aren't seen that way. You know, that they have feelings. And, you know, because people can do things that can be nasty. You know, people can love you one minute, hate you the next. We have to remain humble and neutral because if we don't, we get hurt. And I feel your masculine is showing you that, you know, he has this big heart to give, even if he doesn't seem to be showing that. Because I feel that you see the true him, you know the truth. But also others don't. So he has to be careful with what he gives to the world. And he may also spend time in solitude, in silence, deep thinking. You know, he may also have, they're showing me as well blue eyes. Now, you know, that won't be for everyone. You know, because all masculines are different. But they are showing me blue eyes. I feel like someone needs to hear that too. They give me the initial M, the initial C, the initial D. And they're showing me as well the Pisces energy in this too. So again, you know, we've got Cancer and we've got um, Scorpio, but mainly Pisces. Pisces are deep divers as well. And it doesn't matter, you know, if you don't resonate with any of those horoscopes. That's just extra guidance. You are the sun. So they may be the star, but you are the sun. You know, and I feel there is definitely a celebrity watching this too, who it feels like the other person is the star. So in other words, the celebrity feels like the, you know, the other twin is the star, the real star of the show, because you're the guide, the guiding light that's always there helping and, you know, helping them in, in the 5D realm, not just stroking the ego like so many other people do, even their karmic partners or people that they're close to. So... The King of Cups is about wanting to give and wanting to express and wanting to show that love to you. So your masculine is saying, I am a family man. So he may have a family. That may be the reason why he's holding himself back from you. But he also wants a family with you. That's why he's come to the earth. So I do feel that there is children involved in some of your connections. And those children, you know, they, they have purpose here. So they've made contracts and... You know, they've signed up in a way to have children with certain people for certain reasons. You know, maybe because of the life path they're meant to choose. You know, they're meant to choose a certain path, their children, and that's what they've been born into. So I often think of what it would be like to have a family with you. So, you know, they do think about no money, no fame, and just living a simple life. Things speeding up, maybe motorbikes involve fast energy as well. Soul searching. I've been searching deep inside of my heart and soul. All I can see is you. So when they have that solitude, that quiet time, which is in a way the dark side of the King of Cups, you know, when they are in their cave, when he's within thinking, all he can see is you. All he can think about is you. Now, he may not know you directly, but your light is brighter than anything he's ever felt or experienced before. And this is what's opening the doors because the universe is creating the way. So in other words, he'll notice you, he'll see you. And there's fear around that. Don't fear that because you might think, well, how is he ever going to see me in this crowd? But he will. The universe will create the way. And, you know, he's showing that to you, coming out of the dark times and seeing the truth. Powerful. He's saying deep feelings. My feelings for you run deeper than the bottom of the ocean. I care so very deeply for you. Deeper than the bottom of the ocean. Stronger than the sea. Isn't that powerful? They're even giving me, and I've got to say what I'm, what's on my mind when I'm connecting with this. They're giving me ocean films. They're giving me old worldy films. They're giving me films with speed. Cars, vehicles, different places. You know, connecting with other realms these are things that could be connected with their lifestyle or their work or their career things connected with the world i feel that someone watching may be connected with someone who does astronomy or astrology or world vision or someone out there that deals with the universe you know they're giving me names but i'm not saying the names okay we've got fifth dimension so that's where your connection thrives says we are connected in spirit and soul communicate with me in the 5d i'm always by your side so 
Your masculine is saying to you, your celebrity twin is saying to you, I know you. I connect with you in the 5D realm. I see you. Communicate with me there. I'm always with you. I'm always by your side. Until we can be together physically, I'm with you spiritually. Very powerful. And sexual telepathy. So you know the power of the love and the intensity of the feelings and the connection. Even without you next to me, I can feel the hot, steamy romance we share. It's intense and I love it. And when you guys are together, woo, you're going to lock yourselves away for a while and get hot and steamy and sexy. And I feel you've had things happening in water, in showers, baths, saunas, steam rooms, pools, the ocean, you know, hot, steamy energy, maybe in a car. You know, they show me like in Titanic, you know, when Jack and Rose are in the car and it's all steamed up and she puts her hand on the car. You know, and he makes that that really, you know, indentation, that cool indentation. That's what I'm feeling. So it's all going on. Your connection is very real. It's just not happening in a physical way that people may put you two together. But that's all to come. Don't worry, it's all on track. So around karmic situations then, I want to be a good parent, but I can't do that here. So you know, definitely some children involved in some of your connections here and they want to be a good parent. You know, they want what's best for the children. It doesn't matter if they're young kids or older kids. They want what's best for them, but they can't do it in that relationship. And they know that we are living separate lives. So most of the time your twin isn't even in that place, even isn't in that vicinity, you know, isn't in that room or that home or that even country. They're living separate lives. You know, remember, it's illusion. If they come together on the red carpet or if they come together somewhere else, it's illusion. On social media, it's all illusion. Look through that. I can't keep doing this with you. So it feels stressful and painful and like going round and round and round and round and round in circles. I can't keep doing this with you. We're living separate lives. I want to be a good parent, but I can't do that here. So I do feel there's children is the main factor why they're still there. And we've got, we've both changed. So maybe these person met on set or they met in a certain environment. Maybe they were doing the same kind of work or they, were, they met through mutual acquaintances. Or maybe they, they, they went to school together and then they've changed there because they are now a celebrity. They aren't, they've got different views and, and you know, lifestyle perceptions and that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you and your twin because you have the same goals and the same dreams and the same vision this is people they are moving away from their karmic energies so we've both changed and your masculine is changing your celebrity twin is changing because you know they are not who they were and even things they're doing may not resonate with them anymore specific things because they're more spiritual now they're more evolved now they're more awake now and they're trying to move down a different path. So it's only a matter of time. Trust the journey. The universe creates the way. And I know it may seem crazy. How can we meet? How can we be together with all of the odds against us? But the magic is in the air. And with God, all things are possible. And that's what you need to know. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.